Okay, well, hello. This is a formal introduction because I completely forgot about that before I made my first entry and stuff. Um, my name is Toya, or, you know, you can just call me Toya, a.k.a. Lady Toliana, a.k.a. Age Queen you know, on DeviantArt. But anyways, those are just some of my crazy aliases and stuff. Um, this is pretty much going to be, I guess, you could say a video diary I'm going to start keeping. I mean, I should have been doing it earlier, you know, considering, but no, I take it back now, because I didn't even have a webcam, I just got this, and so, I'm starting now, since I have it, and it's pretty much just gonna be, mm, kind of like a video blog, I guess, about whatever I'm feeling about talking about that day, probably bitching and complaining about chemo, yeah, because that just sucks, oh, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, uh, oh, I was diagnosed over the summer with colon cancer, go figure, right, I'm like, <laughs> I am only 20-something years old, you know, and it's, it's early 20s, really early 20s, and I was just like, seriously? Damn. So, I had to have a bunch of painful-ass procedures done and all that crap, but you know, I'm still here and I'm still living. You enjoy and take each day, day by day, and just pray and hope for the best. I mean, that's all I really can do, I mean, you know. So... But it's cool, though. I've had so many people give me so much support and so many wonderful people know so many wonderful things, like holding stuff in my name and raising money for me and all that wonderful stuff. It just helps me out so much. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh, you guys are, like, amazing. But, um, yeah, just whatever, you know. Let's see, some of the things I like. I'm a huge anime slash video game fan. Oh, my gosh. My favorite video games are usually 2D fighter games, I love to death, and RPGs. Um, lately, though, I haven't been playing as many as I wish I could be because I'm always so damn tired and shit, you know, thanks to chemo and all that stuff. And, and I am in college and stuff, too, which is a miracle in itself, you know, and doing work and everything like that. But, um, let's see. One of my favorite video games of all time is Chrono Cross. Uh, yeah, Chrono Cross. I don't care if anyone's all like, it had nothing to do with Chrono Trigger, and I'm like, whatever, it was still an amazing game, and I didn't play Chrono Trigger until later, and unfortunately, by the time I played it, I couldn't get into it because it was like going backwards in time, and the graphics, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little shadow when it comes to graphics, and I was just like, oh, I can't play this, it's so pixely, but I know it was supposed to be one of the greatest games of all time, and I'm still so bad, but I never played it, and stuff, and right now I'm currently obsessed with the game, the city, oh my gosh, it's so much fun, but, um, yeah, after the games, and anime-wise, I really like, I mean, I like, I think I like a good bit of almost everything, except, um, not huge on, I guess, the typical anime style thing. Except every now and then, like, things are getting kind of weird these days. I'm noticing, like, people are, like, being all malicious and crazy in animes and stuff when they have those cute faces. And that's kind of weird to me because I'm like, if you have a cute face, you know, that cute little big eye thing going on, you know, and you just look like a plain anime face, it's just weird when you see them with butcher knives and killing folks. And I saw school days. So I was like, whoa, fucking crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, it took me by surprise. I like, you know, if it's going to be like Gar, then it's got to look like Gar, you know. Like, I like Berserk and I like Gantz. Although the anime was, yeah. <clears throat> I love artistic animations too. Like, I love the Count of Monte Cristo. Not just for its style, but it's awesome. And Mononoke. And, oh, there's so many I could go on forever, you know, I think my, my first anime, I mean, I used to think anime was just, like, crazy-ass cartoons with rape and shit, because, like, that's all I would see, is, like, when I would catch it on, like, the Independent Film Channel or whatever, the Action Network, it was always about, like, Demon Chitty Jinjuku and, you know, um, Night Warriors and all that crazy-ass shit, and it's just always, someone was getting raped in there, and I was just like, this always this all about people getting raped, <laughs> then I finally saw Vampire Hunter D, and, Stuff like that, and I was all like, oh my god, love! <laughs> well, yeah, and I, I, I was, I'm doing the age of the Dragon Ball Z era, so. Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, all that good stuff, yeah, I was all up in that. When Tom was the <laughs> spokesperson for Tsunami, which is not going, sadly. And, um, yeah. Um, let's see, otherwise, music-wise, I don't think I'm really into a lot of alternative, alternative stuff. And acid jazz, like Jameer Class, my favorite singer, um, uh, 
do like good dance beats and stuff. I'm not really into hardcore, you know, like, but I'm gonna kill you stuff. Except, you know, it's kind of funny, though. I do like Eminem, you know. But, or, and stuff, rapping, hardcore rapping in my country. I'm usually not into it. I'm not saying I like it, because I like, I like Kanye, even though he's a douche. <laughs> and I like it for the music. I try not to think about the people I'm like, I like your music, but you need to work on a few things. But whatever. Um, Book-wise, I think my favorite author is probably K.A. Applegate. Yeah, man, I'm an Animorphs fan. You named Animorphs book, odds are I probably have it. Except for, like, okay, like, the last volume and maybe one or two of the Chronicles. That's about it. I'm serious, I have a whole collection. And I started off collecting the tapes, too, but then we, we moved and, and we couldn't afford it for a while. So I never got the rest of the tapes, but I loved the series. I thought it was amazing. Unfortunately, it was canceled. Crappy ass. Whatever. Good job. Good job. And, yeah, like Anne Rice, too. Yeah, like the whole Vampire Chronicles and stuff like that. Right now, I'm really into Cirque the Freak. Oh my gosh, Darren Shit. Shit's awesome. So, I want to buy the rest of those volumes so I can read up and see what's going on with that. And it took me forever to realize that the movie Vampire's Assistant was about that. And I was like, oh. And I'm like, I want to see it now. <laughs> but um after that what else is there when you go like, well you know well I mean apparently I like food and did like love dessert <laughs> woo that's, that's the prize right <laughs> so I'm really excited you know about trying new restaurants and stuff like that and getting good eats and everything and well um Random fact, I'm like five ten. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty tall. Some people say it's taller than that and I'm like, You're lying. It's just, just leave it at five ten, you know. Just don't need to get any taller, I really don't. <laughs> and well believe it or not, I used to be bigger than this, and I lost a lot of weight during the surgery. because <laughs> I starved to death in the hospital. The food was so gross. I couldn't keep anything down anyways, but Oh, the food was so nasty. Um, love Jack Skeleton. Oh my gosh, got a blanket. Um, I could pull it over here, but it's got stuff on it, and I don't want anything to fall. My roommate just cleaned up in here, and like everything's clean except for my station and stuff. And oh, I I told you I'm in college, but I didn't even tell you what I'm in college for. Like I love draw. I want to go into sequential art. And storyboarding, you know, that whole kind of big deal right there. And so, I love John. I just got me my new tablet in the mail, so I'm super excited about that. And I'm finally being able to get, you know, sit down and draw with it because I couldn't really do that during school and chemo week. So, I can now, though. So, I'm looking forward to doing some pictures on tablet. The Wacom, um, Bamboo's Wacom Pen and Touch. I swear to goodness, I just ordered the pen, but. I got pen and touch. Well, whatever. It still works amazingly. And if the touch bothers you, just turn it off. It's not that hard. But, um, anyways, I guess that's the introduction to me. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's about it right right now. I mean, I guess if there's anything else anybody wants to know, I guess they could ask me. I'm pretty straightforward. I mean, usually if someone asks me a question, I answer it pretty much usually always just answer it just because I mean if someone's interested and want to know I'm like why not you know? and as you can tell I like to talk <laughs> so yeah anyways talk to y'all later and bye bye